Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon and Sagittarius Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for October 15 to October 21st 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards um, I will remind you once again guys that this will be a, a general reading for Sagittarius star sign and this is not your personal reading therefore I will try my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, their synergy in the spread but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now if you want me to do that for you well that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please uh, check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. So that being said, <clears throat> excuse me, going to the uh, spread, to the tarot spread first. That will be a four card spread and the first card, the first position rather, is going to uh, show us the topic for your Sagittarius this week. The second card will be the core of the situation or why the, the topic is happening. The third card that is going to be the challenges uh, which are causing predicaments and the last one is about the guidance that Taro is offering to you. So let's see what you have to face uh, throughout the week. Now that will be the Ten of Pentacles and this is rather a very satisfiable card and just by itself this card doesn't promise um, much of a movement should I say that way throughout the week because the card itself is pointing that you are to kind of um, capitalize on what you have built until this, very, uh, until this very moment and that's why this car is very often associated with family you know to capitalize on the family that you have built until this very moment to have fun with them you know to spend time with um, <clears throat> with your children, with your grandchildren, with your beloved one as well or if we're talking about career uh, here it is about capitalizing on that you know making good performance, bearing the fruit of your labor etc etc the thing with the topic when we do have the ten of pentacles with the topic is that your previous investments are now to be shown that they were worth it so uh, in that specific sense it could be that you are to receive some rewards from a previous labor of yours you know or uh, some results of a, a previous toils as well of yours but the very least this card is pointing here that uh, throughout um, this new circumstances that are creating around you and those circumstances are um, connected to um, capitalizing on what you have worked for thus far they will grant you much more freedom in a sense of uh, you know you won't be dependable any longer from um, uh, for a certain loan of a certain loan or of certain person uh, you will not be as well dependable to do certain things necessarily because now they have done etc etc so the card itself is, is giving you more sense to enjoy your life if I might say that or more room to enjoy your life and one superficial meaning about the card is that also you may reconcile with somebody it doesn't have to be a romantic reconciliation here but it could be just a, a friendship that long time was um, extinguished in a sense of just to give you an example here let's say a friend of yours just uh, reallocated in a different country and you did not keep up with them and now they are back so you have the time to catch on it and to catch up uh, so pretty much uh, this is the broad meaning and the broad manifestation of the Ten of Pentacles and it's very important when we do have this card about the topic you know to realize how rich in the reality you are because if you look around yourself you're gonna find many that have much less than you are and they probably are feeling way happier and that's why it's time for you to look around yourself and start capitalizing on what you have worked for for till this very moment. The next card um, which is going to show us the core of the situation that will be the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords it is a, about the honest and the brutal, brutal in many cases 
through that one has realized and I'm saying has realized because this is the core this is something that yet happened and based on it you are to realize that it is time for you to kind of you know cultivate your achievements here now the ace of swords could be also um, a, a very strong impulse created but you realizing you know that this time around you gotta take the things in your own hands and do something about it and because you have done it now you have the obligatory not the obligatory but the um, it's not even the obligation but it's more like the benefit you do have the benefit to uh, find yourself you know collecting all those rewards because if you have left the things to be in the wrong hands to be attended then obviously you wouldn't be uh, finding yourself happy here with the ten of pentacles and collecting the fruits of your labor very very broad meaning and very broad manifestation but basically what these cards here are pointing you is that if you um, are feeling quite unhappy it is because you're not realizing you know how rich you in fact you are and riches can be found in many different cases those riches doesn't have to be money and uh, in our material world we very often neglect that having money is not everything as a matter of fact money needs to be means they that they that they don't have to or they should not be a, a goal money are means to reach a goal Sadly enough, for many people, money are goal, and I can guarantee you that, guys, at the end of our road, at the end of our lives, our coffins will not be built up with pockets, all right? So that's why here it will be important as well um, if we go with that specific sense is that these cards may point that you are conserving way too much money and because of it because you are uh, kind of like you know collecting or storing those money and you are not allowing yourself um, some to spoil yourself a little bit you may you may kind of fall into states of just a, a routine life that there is nothing happier of it so that could be as well uh, an urge to pull out some of those money and spoil yourself a little bit so you know what you're working for so you kind of uh, see that you are a human after all and you need a little bit of a you know additional entertainment should i say that way so the next card is about what causes predicaments. The uh, challenge here is causing predicaments. King of Pentacles. This card, this card is about sustaining and cultivating what we have worked for um, at this very moment. So uh, that will be an issue to sustain and to cultivate while you have to realize it. So you have to realize it first and we have a grave danger here not realizing uh, as a matter of fact how wealthy you are here and letting your wealth it doesn't have to be money again all right letting your we wealth to slip through your fingers and to be someone else's wealth so it will be difficult for you to recognize that you have to cultivate and you have to sustain and consolidate as well what you already possess so these cards are very broad as i said i see the, this reading could manifest in every single field of our lives but i will give you these simple examples you may be misfortunate or kind of like feeling a little bit disappointed in your relationship or your marriage but at least you do have a marriage all right some people may not be as lucky as you are to have someone next to them Okay, or you may feel a little bit despondent about your workplace because your boss is a jerk, but at least you do have a job, right? And many people doesn't have one and they struggle to provide for their very existence. So that's why you got to, this, is, this week is going to be a huge reminder of yourself uh, the, on your behalf of that even though you kind of want more, 
it is more is not necessary for you to feel happy and I hope I really hope that this does not concern health because that could manifest is that you are very rich you have all the abundance you need but you will realize that health is everything that matters at the end which could follow with some you know how tissue here and you will realize that money can buy you pills but they cannot buy you health money can buy you um, trinkets they can buy you comfort but they cannot buy you happiness guys so I think that this reading is about to remind you that I mean this week is to remind you that there won't be any severe consequences not yet at least all right but as soon as you realize how wealthy you are the better and you do something to sustain it because you may lose it if you are ignorant for the blessings that you do possess so the next one is going to be the guidance uh, that uh, you should adopt here throughout the week and that will be the six of swords so the six of swords is about uh, taking a brave step forward kind of contributed with the ace of pentacles the ace of the the six of swords is about taking a step toward the unknown and about overcoming a fear of a specific threshold so um the, this card is about you know uh, how can I explain it? This card is about overcoming um, uh, overcoming the uh, the sense of feeling feeling oneself uncomfortable and feeling oneself afraid to admit that you um, um, that you like somebody that you love somebody that you want something as well that uh, something is there to your heart either because that may reveal a certain weakness of yours all right so this specific card here tells you that you need to show as well sensitivity toward the matter because otherwise how the people are going to recognize that something is important for you and again I don't think that this reading is all about money this reading is all about finding blessings but in anything but money and and um, and monetary success also the six of swords here is pointing that you should uh, try to make peace with a certain um, conflict that you may have with our parties like with your um, a family you know with your husband or a wife uh, with your children as well friends etc etc basically you have to aim to end the week as humble as you can and especially uh, followed by the ten of um, <clears throat> the ten of pentacles here if we take the reconciliation manifestation that could be someone who really messed up with you I mean they really fucked up the situation back in the past and now you know they severely are sorry for it they really commiserate upon it and they want to apologize and it will benefit you big time if you allow them to do so and you accept their apologies so that was the tarot reading for you <clears throat> Sagittarius is now uh, let's see what the Lenormand cards are about to um, about to say they are going to show us a event that you should either look forward to or uh, try to avoid so let's cut them and let's see the first one is the star the star is guidance finding a way then we do have the dog the dog is about loyal companion and um, uh, being faithful as well that, that is what it stands and then the next one this is going to be the tower which stands for seclusion isolation and uh, as well business and government institution so what we do have here <clears throat> I do believe is that you are going to find I uh, because loyalty this is a uh, figurative meaning in this specific uh, in this specific reading so li literally it reads as a, a finding a way of a faithful business or that would be a honest business proposition you know establishing an honest business or starting a, a new honest job that is going to go by as the contract is written so that being said um Sagittarius, this was your Tarot and Lenormand reading and I hope that you really get the message from, uh, 
from these cards because it's uh, as I said it's quite broad and uh, I did my best to explain it really but it, it will be a huge kick in uh, throughout this week realizing you know that you do have so much more to live for so much more to accomplish you know so much more to to kind of like not take advantage but be happy of uh, in your life and um, it is likely that, uh, especially for those who are finding themselves in a very, very helpless situation, that their life all of a sudden are go is going to start worth living again. So yeah, that being said, that was your uh, weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, again, that was a general reading for Sagittarius star sign and it was not your personal reading. Therefore, I did my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but it falls to you to align them to your personal situation and to make sense of them as well. Now, if you want me to do that for you, that is a subject of personal reading and for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.